lot of children below 4 years of age clearly remember their past it's happened many times suppose a few lifetimes of memory opened up you know what a havoc it would cause in your life you're going to get into lots of trouble more than you can handle sat guru uh, how come like a boy with 6 years old he can't remember his last life he can he can tell who he, who he is who is his parent and after a time he can forget everything yes how come he can remember he should not remember nature has given you this cocoon of life so that you do not remember it has given you a protective wall so that you do not remember because if you remember you will become a far bigger mess than you are right now see this few years of living here 10 20 30 60 years of living here people are just struggling with the memories of their life isn't it yes people have great struggles with these few years of memories suppose a few lifetimes of memory opened up you know what a turmoil and struggle it would cause within you just being here you're still struggling with relationships you're still not able to forget what happened yesterday what may happen tomorrow all these struggles are going on suppose you realized let's say you remember your past lives and you realized uh, that uh, your dear son happens to be your neighbor's pet dog suppose and just think <laughs> that these days dogs are having a better life than us yes you know what a havoc it would cause in your life and in your neighbor's life and in the dog's life <laughs> it wouldn't be good for anybody isn't it unless you're in such a state of understanding and this passion that even if you come to know this was your wife or your mother or your father or your dearest friend you can still continue without even looking at them then it's okay to know but if you're somebody who has emotions for everything that you think that belongs to you so this is the problem people's emotions are coming only towards those things which they call as theirs suppose let's say you have never met uh, your father or you have not seen your mother since you were born or you had not seen your twin brother or a brother or a sister in your whole life today i showed you see this is your mother you have never seen her you have nothing to do with her but now because somebody told you this is your mother the moment you say oh she is my mother suddenly emotions burst out from where you don't you have not built a relationship with this person you have nothing to do with this person just because somebody says this is yours when somebody says this is your mother somebody is saying this person belongs to you isn't it so your emotions flare up only to those things which you consider as mine so you have if you have this problem that everything has to be yours only then it'll happen then i would say get little more greedy make everything yours that's what he said you guys about you know anyway you're greedy why be stingy and you greediness take it all the way you oh my children i have tremendous feeling make everybody yours what's the problem somebody there to stop you <laughs> is somebody there to stop you 
If that's your way, take it all the way. Or nobody is yours, that is also fine. It's a harder way. But that is also fine. Nobody is mine, is fine. Everybody is mine, is fine. This is mine, that is not mine, this is a problem. So, if you remember past lives and you are in, st in this state that this is mine and this is not mine, then you are going to get into lots of trouble, too much trouble, more than you can handle. If you have reached a point, everything is yours or nothing is yours, then it's okay to remember, then it would be useful to remember. So a six-year-old boy just by chance remembered something. It's just a, sometimes the systems in the nature fail, you know. Some data input mistake. It happens. Such a complex structure, sometimes, you know, it happens. <laughs> little bit of mistake, the necessary protection was not created in a particular child. Even if they do, usually before they grow up, they, then, they tend to forget. Lot of children below four years of age clearly remember their past, but by the time they become four years of age, it all dies out. After four years of age, they get involved in this life, whatever is around them. Till their four years of age, it is possible in their minds the past could be just going on. I don't know if you're aware of this in India, for a variety of reasons they said this. They say, till the child is four years of age, he belongs to God. Only after that, he belongs to you. Because they're saying, because he's running with so many memories, he doesn't belong to anybody at that time. After that, when his, once his memory goes off, he starts relating to everything around him in a deeper way. That's when he begins to belong to you. At least he gives you an illusion that he belongs to you. Yes, they'll break it after some time. <laughs> they do, <laughs> isn't it? One way or the other they do. So, it could happen, it's happened many times, but generally such people forget after some time that that capability or that kind of aberration, I would say, happens only at a certain phase of childhood, after that it dies by itself.